Hello friends, this is Anand Pai, founder of Academy in Pursuit of Engineering Excellence. Today, we will continue on the course on fluid mechanics. We are now in chapter 1, properties of fluids and now we are going to go with the part 4 which is dependence of viscosity on temperature. Now let us have a recap of what we have done till now. We had seen what is flow, what is a fluid, what is Newton's law of viscosity and then we had expressed the viscosity of liquids in terms of millipascal second or centipoise and gases in terms of micropascal seconds. So this is what we had done till now. Now we will see about viscosity of gases. Now when we say gas, gas is loosely bound molecules which are free to expand or free to move in space. The main thing what happens is intermolecular collisions and if we consider the ideal gas, there won't be any molecular attraction. Okay, So the main reason for viscosity in gases is collision. So in case we had a confined space here and think that this uh, particular plate is going to move. Now, the resistance to the movement of this plate is caused by the gas molecules which is hitting this plate. So the reason for viscosity for gases is collisions. Now what is temperature? Temperature is nothing but root mean square velocity of velocity of the molecules in the gas. So individual molecules velocities we will take, we will square individual velocities, we will add it we will take the mean of this and then we will take the square root of this. This is called root mean square velocity and temperature statistically speaking is root mean square velocity of individual molecules. This is as per the kinetic theory of gases. Now higher temperature causes higher velocity. So temperature is root mean square velocity. So more velocity means more temperature. So when temperature is more, it increases collisions and more collisions causes more viscosity. So in gases, as temperature increases, more viscosity is caused. So viscosity is directly proportional to temperature in case of gases. Now this might uh, give us some idea about uh, how the mean free path. What is mean free path? Mean free path is the mean distance a molecule of gas has to travel before hitting another molecule of gas. So does mean free path have a relation with viscosity of gas? The fact is it does. Okay. And the relation loosely can be proved or it can be proved that viscosity is equal to half of density of the gas into the mean free path lambda and u bar which is the root mean square velocity of the molecules. So this is how gas is there. For gas more the temperature more the viscosity. Now let us see how viscosity varies with the temperature for liquids. Now here I have shown a picture from, a, from my backyard, backyard where the ants will form a bond to cross from this leaf to this pole. Okay, So here they have a bond between like uh, materials so or like people there is a bond. Okay, This is called cohesion. Here also you see there is cohesion between molecules. This is a liquid which is confined between two plates. You see here this blue color bonds I say it is cohesive bonds and this red color orange color bond is actually the adhesion. So between uh, like materials there is cohesion between uh, unlike materials there is adhesion. Now considering this adhesive bond is strong this can be considered as no slip condition. If I consider this is a no slip condition with respect to molecules of the liquid as well as the molecules of the solid plates. Now when you move one of the plates the main reason for viscosity would be cohesion between this liquid molecules. So in liquids the cause of viscosity is cohesion. 
Now, in case of liquids or solid, temperature is seen as molecular vibrations. When more the temperature, more the molecular vibration will be there. So, rise in temperature causes higher molecular vibration and high molecular vibration causes cohesive bonds to break, reducing the cohesive forces. It is as if a wind has come and vibrated this leaf here and this causes these bonds to reduce or break. Similar thing happens to the cohesive bonds between liquid molecules. So, higher molecular vibrations causes cohesive bonds to break, reducing the cohesive forces. Now, reduction in cohesive forces results in the reduction of viscosity. So, in case of liquids, what happens? Reduction in cohesive forces causes reduction in viscosity. Now, we will summarize. The summary is something like this. Increase in temperature causes decrease in viscosity of liquids and increase in temperature causes increase in viscosity of gases. So, we will stop here. I hope you have enjoyed this video. We will continue with the next topics on this chapter. I hope you have understood this. Kindly subscribe to my channel as well as click the bell icon for further notification. Thank you very much.